In this session, we will see how we can find the GCD of two numbers A and B using Euclidean algorithm. So let us consider two numbers A and B where A is greater than B and we need to find the GCD of A and B. Now what are the steps? Step 1, perform A by B. And write the quotient and the remainder. Write the quotient Q1 and remainder R1 as A equals Q times B plus R1. Right? So I am dividing A by B. I get the quotient and remainder. So I have write it in this form. In the second step, I replace B by A, I replace A by B, I replace A by B and B by R1. So I have B equal to Q2 R1 plus R2. Right? And this process is repeated till the current remainder divides the previous remainder. Till the current re remainder divides the previous remainder and that value happens to be the GCD of A and B. So let us take an example and find the GCD of two numbers A and B using Euclidean algorithm. So find the GCD of the number 1547 comma 560. So what is the first step? The first step is I have 1547. I divide it by 560. I get 2 as the quotient and I need to find the remainder. So I have 0, 2, 1, 1. Right? So I get 7, 2, 4. So 427 is the remainder. So I can write 1, 5, 4, 7 as the quotient 2 into 560 plus remainder 427. So now what do I do? I replace 1, 5, 4, 7 by 560 and I replace 560 by 427. So I have 560 equals 427. So definitely 560, 427. The quotient is 1. Right? So what is the remainder? I get 133. 133 is the remainder. So I have 1 plus 133. So this process is again repeated. Replace 560 by 427 and 427 by 133. So I have 427 equals. So again I need to divide. 427 divided by 133. 3 is a Okay, so I have 399, 28 is the remainder. So I have 3 into 133 plus 28. Again, I replace 427 by 133 and 133 by 28. So I have 133 equals 28 into something plus remainder. So I have 133 divided by 28. So what do I get? 4 times. So now what do I do? I divide 133 by 28. So I get 112. So I have 21 as the answer, which is the remainder. So I have 4 into 21. 
right? So again, 28 equals 1 into 21 plus 7. So in all these steps, I find that the current remainder does not divide the previous remainder, but here I have 7 and 21 is divisible by 7. So 7 divides 21. So therefore, the GCD of 1547, 560 is 7. So let's take another problem. So find the GCD of 26, 19. And the question states that you also need to express the GCD as an integer linear combination of these two numbers. So first I find the GCD and then I need to express the GCD as an integer co combination of these two numbers, an integer linear combination of the two numbers 26 and 19. So I have 26 equals 1 into 19, right, so the quotient is 1 plus 7. So I replace 26 by 19, 7 by 19. So I have 19 equals 7. 7 twos are 14. So I have 5, which is the remainder. Replace 19 by 7 and 5, 7 by 5. So I get 7 equals 5, 1 plus 2. So at every stage, I'm checking whether the current remainder divides the previous remainder. So it doesn't. So I proceed further. Replace 7 by 5 and 5 by 2. So I get 5 equals 2 into 2 plus 1. So 1 divides 2. So therefore the GCD is 1. The second part of the question is that I need to express 1 as a combination of 26 and 19. So how do we do that? We need to work backwards from the last step. I need to work backwards from the last step. So what do we do? I have 1 which is the GCD which is equal to 5 minus 2 into 2. Minus 2 into 2. Now this 2 is nothing but the remainder obtained from the previous step. So I need to replace 2 with this value. So 2, the remainder, is equal to 7 minus 1 into 5. So replace this with 7 into 1 into 5. So what do I get? So I have 1 equals, I can write this as 1 into 5, minus 2 into the remainder. 2 is the remainder given by 7 minus 1 into 5. 7 minus 1 into 5. So what do I get? So I would get 1 equals 1 into 5 minus 2 into 7 plus 2 into 5. So make sure that you do not multiply them because if you multiply them then you will not be able to express the GCD in terms of the two numbers 26 and 19. So I in turn have 1 plus 2 which is 3 into 5 minus 2 into 7. Now in this step the remainder is 5. Right? So I have 5 the remainder which is given by 19 minus 2 into 7. So I have to replace this with 19 minus 2 into 7. So let's see how this can be done. So I have 1 equals 3 into 5 is given by 19 minus 2 into 7. Minus 2 into 7. So what do I get? I get 1 equals. So I have 5 which has been replaced by this expression 19 minus 2 into 7 minus 2 into 7 which is existing. So I have 3 into 19 
minus 3 into 2 is 6 into 7 minus 2 into 7. So I end up getting 1 equals 3 into 19 minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. So I have minus 8 into 7. So I have 7 here. So now I move on to the previous step. So I find that 7 is the remainder here and I need to replace this 7 by this term. So what do I get? I get 1 equals 3 into 19 minus 8 into 26 minus 1 into 19. So I end up getting 1 equals 3 into 19 minus 8 into 26 plus 8 into 19. So I have 1 which is equal to, I can add these two, so I have minus 8 into 26 plus 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 into 19. So I have expressed the given GCD value in terms of the two numbers 26 and 19 as an integer linear combination of the two numbers 26 and 19 which is A and B. So this is how we can find the GCD of two numbers using Euclidean 